does not support Taiwan independence. Are Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden on different pages for foreign policy in Taiwan? Well, the worst part of this, Tim, is uh, it doesn't matter who you send from the current leadership of America, we're going to look weak. I mean, what do you do? You send Joe Biden, you send Kamala Harris, you send Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer. I mean, it's a grab bag in any way, uh, any which way you go. America looks foolish. Uh, so it's not good for us, regardless of who goes. But I do agree with Sebastian. He's brilliant on these kind of issues. Uh, the president is the one that should be making this trip. Of course, when this president goes anywhere, um, you know, he's frail, he's weak, he's feeble, and, and it makes us look bad. But, of course, we could say most of those things about Speaker Pelosi as well. So it's a lose-lose. Let's put it that way. All right. There was a comprehensive study done by Harvard University of the motivations of the January 6, 2021 protesters at the U.S. Capitol. Now, the study found only 8% wanted to start an insurrection. So what does that say about the January 6th committee and its work, Rick? It's all lies, Tim. It's all lies. This study, for even Harvard to put out this study, and if you look at the uh, the, the Harvard newspaper that reported it, they even had a headline that was very, very misleading about this. It, it, and it was under 8%. It was almost 8%. There were almost as many in this study that they did that were marching and rioting for communism. I mean, what does that tell you about the people that they cherry-picked here as well? We're not talking about a survey of all of the people that were there as part of Trump's support. We're talking about a survey of 416 defendants that have been prosecuted under federal law in D.E. So this is a very select group that they're surveying in the first place, and they're trying to put a broad stroke on it and describe everybody that was there singing hymns and waving flags mm -hmm. and there for the rally for Trump. Uh, as being part of that. But having said that, even of the 416 defendants, for less than 8% to say that they're there for what the media has lied to the American people, uh, it, it does expose the lies of the January 6th committee, for sure. All right, commentator Dan Bongino leveled some really heavy charges against the Joe Biden on Fox News. Here's his unfiltered take. Joe Biden is a disgrace to humankind. He is. He's completely turned his back on the disastrous crisis on our southern border. And because of that, he is a direct accomplice to the mass murder of thousands of American citizens. Now, there have been more than 100,000 deaths, Rick, from fentanyl since he took office. Uh, Bongino is calling him an accomplice to these deaths and to those who died crossing the border illegally. Do you feel like that's a fair assessment of Joe Biden? Absolutely. He set up the scenario for this. Instead of doing everything that he could to protect America and to protect these migrants and keep this from happening to them, to protect people in America from the cartels being able to put fentanyl into our nation, uh, he did absolutely nothing. He did everything to aid and abet their ability to do this. I, I said this for a year and a half, that Joe Biden is aiding and abetting child sex trafficking. He's aiding and abetting the drug industry. All of these things, he has implemented policies that welcomed these things into our nation. So I agree 100% with what Dan Bongino said here. All right, Rick, you heard investigative reporter Lara Logan say illegal immigrants are receiving Social Security numbers. Now, if that's true, we have no reason to believe that it's not. Does that mean the Democrats are planning a future mass amnesty in the future? Oh, you know it's in their in their cards. Uh, that that's uh, that's certainly something that they would love to do. Uh, it's part of the reason why Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, his czar for the border, have allowed these horrible things to happen. They think the payoff is going to be millions and millions of new voters for the Democrat Party. I, I think they're wrong in that anyway. I think most of the people that are coming across won't end up voting Democrat if you give them the ability to vote. These are people that are looking for freedom for the most part. Uh, so they're making a bad, bad decision for America, and it's not going to give them what they want in the end anyway. Rick, Rick, I agree. There are a lot of these people that are coming that have seen socialism firsthand, and I, I think your assessment's absolutely right. We'll be back to you in just a moment. Mike, back to